Hello children. Uh, today let us uh, go to the term 2 book. Let us learn lesson number 1 in term 2 book. So can you all open your textbooks? First lesson in English. The Giant Panda. Open to page number 5. Yes children are you all there? Now. The Giant Panda. Can you name these animals? One of the animal is often incorrectly called a bear but does not belong to the bear family at all. Can you spot it? Now see here we have got pictures of different anim uh, animals here. Bear but out of all this one animal is not a bear. That is yes that is panda. So now turn the page. Let us go to the lesson now. There are 8 different types of bears on the planet. Bears live in North America, South America, Europe and Asia. Giant pandas are found only in China. There are probably only about a thousand giant pandas left in the world. So, today we are going to learn the lesson, the giant panda. So, what do you mean by the word giant? Giant means very big, huge. Okay? Panda is an animal, name of an animal. It looks like a bear. Now, generally, we see bear in four continents. Okay? That is North America, South America, Europe and Asia. But, panda, the giant pandas, they are seen only in China. They look like a bear but they are not bear at all. Now what are giant pandas? Giant pandas are black and white Chinese bears. So what are these animals children? They are the Chinese bears. And what is the color of panda? It is both black and white. Female pandas are called sows. Male pandas are called boars. And baby pandas are called cubs. The panda is a symbol of peace in China. So, let us see here. The female pandas, they are called as sows. S-O-W-S, sows. Okay. The male panda is called as a boar. They are called as boars. Okay. It is a female panda. Boars are the male panda. And then we have got small baby pandas. They are called the cubs. Okay. Now, these pandas, they are a symbol of peace in China. Symbol of peace. They represent peace. What do pandas look like? Pandas are large and have big heads and heavy bodies. So they are very big animals. They have got huge bodies and a very big head. Their bodies are very heavy. Their ears are round and their tails are short. So here in the picture you can see their ears, they have got round ears. And the tail of the panda is short. Short means small. The Chinese call the panda the giant cat bear. Because they have cat like eyes. So why do they call it as giant cat bear? Because they have got beautiful cat like eyes. Pandas have sharp eyes and can see very well. Giant pandas are mainly white. However, they have black patches around the eyes, ears, shoulders, chest, legs and feet. They live in snowy and rocky places. So where do these pandas live children? They live in snowy and rocky places. Snowy means where the snow falls most of the time. And rocky is they have got big big rocks. Do they live in our houses? 
No. Their black and white coloring helps them to hide from enemies. So the black and white color of this animal, it will protect them from its enemies. Pandas have very thick, oily, woolly fur that keeps them warm in the cold and wet mountains. So the body of the bear is made up of lot of fur. Okay. And this fur, what does it do? It is very woolly. It will keep the animal warm. How big are giant pandas? A fully grown male panda can be about 6 feet tall and weigh up to 115 kilograms. Wapri, they are very very tall and they are very heavy. Yes, females are smaller. While many people think pandas are cuddly and sweet, they can be as dangerous as any other bears. So generally people think Are they are looking so beautiful, so cute. We can nicely go with them, pat them. No, not at all. You can't cuddle with them. Cuddle is to what? See here we have the meaning here. Cuddly is soft and lovable. Making one want to hug them. Okay? You try to go and hug a panda. It will not allow you. It is going to give you one. Okay? They are very dangerous as bears. Now, how do pandas move? Pandas are good climbers. What do you mean by climbers, children? They climbing, they climb on the rocks. Okay? Sometimes they take an afternoon nap high up in the trees. So, afternoon nap. What do you mean by a nap? Here we have the meaning a very short sleep. Right? They have their tummy full and they go and sleep for some time in the afternoon. Which we all are doing nowadays. Holidays, na? We eat full and we have a small nap. Nap means a short sleep. So they also have a small sleep in the nap in the afternoon. And where do they sleep? They sleep high up in the trees. They go onto the top of the tree and sleep over there. They use their short claws to hold on to the bark of the trees. Pandas cannot run fast. So they use their claws. They start climbing the tree. They hold the tree and sleep over there. Okay, and they cannot run fast. Why do they can't run fast, children? Yes, they are very heavy, right? If the body is too heavy, you can't run. Even we also can't run fast. So pandas are very, very fat, very heavy. So they can't run fast. Now, what do pandas eat? Let us see. In the wild, pandas only eat bamboo. So, what is the food of the uh, panda children animal? It eats bamboo. Bamboo means it's the bark of the tree. Big, big trees. You have the bark. Yes, the outside part of the tree that is called as the bark. And this bark is made up of bamboo. Bamboo is nothing but the tree wood. The wood of the tree is called bamboo. So they eat only the bamboos. Pandas have to eat a lot of food to stay healthy. They eat 10 to 20 kilograms of bamboo every day. There are very few bamboo forests left today. So many wild pandas are short of food. So nowadays the bamboo trees are very less. It has come down. Why? Because we are making lot and lot of papers. We get papers from the bamboo trees. So we cut the trees and we make use of the trees as papers. So the bamboo trees have come down. Now even this has affected or this has made an effect on the animal. They are not able to live properly because they are having shortage of food. Can they eat insects? No. Do they eat any other small animals? No. It eats only the bamboo which is present on the bamboo tree. Soon we may find that there are no pandas left in the world. Yes, yes or no children? If all the people, they start cutting away all the bamboo trees and all. And pandas will not be having the food. And if there is no food, can the animal live? No, it will die. So maybe in few years we cannot see pandas in the world. In zoos and in other centers where they are taken care of, Pandas eat bamboo, rice, cereal, carrots, apples and sweet potatoes. 
The panda's front paws are not like the paws of the other animals. They have a thumb. They use their paws to hold their foot, that is bamboo shoot and leaves. So as I told you, the paws of the pandas are very strong. They try to hold the bamboo, they take it out and they eat it. So this short leaves and bamboos are taken by the paws. They are very very powerful. How long do pandas live? Giant pandas live for about 35 years. So the age of the panda giant means very big. Okay, giant means very big. So the very big pandas can live for about 35 years. Sometimes they live longer in captivity than in the wild. Here captivity means what? Here we have it. Not living in the wild but in zoos etc. Okay, so wild means wild forest. Captivity means putting these animals in the zoo and if they are put in the zoo and if they are given much of good amount of food they can live for more than 35 years. What sounds do pandas make? Pandas mostly keep silent. They bleat when they communicate in a friendly manner. Now let us see the meaning of bleat. It is to make a sound like that of a sheep. So a sheep will make some different sound so that sound is called as a bleat and this panda also makes the same sound like a sheep and that sound we call it as bleat. They bark to scare away an enemy. So they shout, bark is to shout loudly. So to scare the enemy, to make the enemy go away from its place, the pandas would shout loudly. When they are in pain, they squeal. So let us see the meaning of squeal. Make a long high pitched sound. So when they are having some, when they get hurt, when they feel the pain, they make a different sound of noise. What sound, different sound. That sound is called as a squeal. Now, who are the panda's enemies? A giant panda has very few natural enemies. One of them is the snow leopard. So what is the enemy of the panda? It's a snow leopard. It can catch a baby panda that has moved away from its mother. Sometimes a hungry eagle may snatch a baby panda that has been left in a tree. So leopards, snow leopards and even the eagles, they can take away the baby pandas when they are away from the mother. People hunt pandas for their fur. So people hunt pandas because they have got good furry skin so they kill the panda they take the fur to make sweaters and uh, coats and all people also cut down the bamboo trees they live in so pandas have no place to live and wander in nearby villages in search of food so when people are cutting down the bamboo trees they don't have a place to live hence they are coming out into the villages Right children? So have you understood the lesson? So we have to protect the pandas. Is it not our duty? Yes. So we should not uh, cut away the bamboo trees because bamboo trees are the survival for the pandas. So we need to protect the trees and also protect the animal. Right children? Thank you.